welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and uh, we will take a look today at how to actually see or know if your Facebook account has been hacked. Now one of the things that happens very often is people wonder if there's some illegal activity that happened in their Facebook page, maybe something's weird and you're not really sure. Maybe it's because there's been some posts or some uh, Facebook Messenger um, messages that you didn't send at all and you're wondering what's happening. Well, if you want to check it out, simply go to your Facebook account and once you're on your main page, go on the upper right, there's a little down arrow. Go to settings in that down arrow and then go into security and login on the left side of your screen. Here you'll see where you're logged in and it will show you a couple of spots where you've logged in but you can click see more this will actually give you more of the places where you've actually logged in so when you actually log in to a account to your Facebook account activity will show up and tell you that you know you've been um, using your account you'll see where you are now and you'll see where it actually was accessed um, with different places. So you see here Windows PC, Active Now Edge. This is, of course, my PC. There's a uh, Windows PC with Chrome that is the Windows 7 PC I've got on my PC. Um, JDY is when I actually use my phone connected to my um, Wi Fi network, but Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus when I'm on my um, connection with the um, with my phone on LTE. So all of that shows up in the list of what is happening in the account. Go through this list and look at any suspicious, suspicious activity. Uh, logging in with a computer that isn't yours. Logging in at a time when you know you weren't actually on Messenger or on uh, Edge. Now be careful because on some devices, for example a smartphone, it could be that your Facebook account is still active as your phone is in sleep mode or even Messenger. That would actually tell your uh, this feed that you were active at times maybe when you actually weren't physically looking at the Messenger or the Facebook page, but your smartphone might have been connected. Uh, just make sure that, you know, it that isn't the problem. But if you're logging in from, you know, um, overseas or places you've never been or devices that you don't own, okay, what do you do next? Well, the best thing that you can do when that happens, in the same security and login page, you have change password. Just go on the right side, click edit, and change your password to something new. 99% of the time when you change your password, it's actually enough for you to uh, be safe. Because the reason why you have illegal activity happening is because you are, um, they know the password. So change the password. But another thing that could be even more um, interesting, and I would say that it's actually now today uh, something you should do is use two-factor authentication. So you see here it's on for me. You can click the edit page and start with two-factor authentication. Two ways you can actually have two-factor authentication happen. The first one is two-factor authentication with a uh, app, a authentication app. Google Authenticator, uh, the Microsoft Authenticator also works. This is an app that actually you will scan a QR code with your smartphone's camera and it will actually give you a special code that you can enter and will of course uh, show that you now have two-factor enabled. Or with SMS or text messaging. Simply use the text messenger. It will send you a code by text messaging. This one works if you have just a basic uh, phone because even with the basic phones you can actually text that code that you'll receive, you just enter and that is going to be okay. That means that every time somebody tries to log in from a computer that is unknown, they will need to enter that code and only you 
have that code on your phone. So it keeps you much safer to use two-factor authentication. So uh, apply it and you'll probably be uh, safe at that time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.